Hello, children. Now we are going for the next experiment. Previous uh, experiment we did was called the cis method. What is cis method? When chromosomes, both the genes, both the dominants are present in the same chromosome. So how how to draw this? Y W in the same chromosome. See. So the dominants are present in the same, they tend to go together. That's what we have seen in the first experiment. That was an example for cis type. Okay. Now we are going a trans type. Uh, we have seen the other method called a trans type. What is a trans type? One of the dominant is in one gene, the other dominant is in the other gene, other chromosome. See here, one dominant yellow is here. White is here. Whereas here in the cis method, both yellow and white are in the same chromosome. That's why they tend to go together. Now we will see what happens. So here, one character yellow is dominant, whereas white is recessive. Red eye, yellow red eye, and here brown white eye. This was taken, and uh, gametes are formed like this. This is the gamete formation and same type of gametes are produced. So I have not written many. So capital Y, small y, small y, capital W. When you cross this, what you will get? A hybrid you will get, finally. Okay, this is in the first uh, generation. When the first generation hybrid was crossed with the recessive. What is the recessive? Brown eyed, I mean uh, brown colored, red dye. Small y, small y, small w, small w. That is called test cross. What is the test cross ratio? 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. Do we got that? No. We are going to see that. Now we will see what will be the gamete formation. Again, capital Y, uh, capital W. The other one is capital Y, small w. Another one is small y capital w small y small w four but here all are one type only this is how the gametes are formed so what will be the combinations okay let's see the combination i'll i'll just make it clear okay this one with this one capital y small y Capital W with the small w. This one, this small. W. Okay, now we'll see this one. Two. What is it? Capital Y, small one, small W. Then third one. Capital Y, small one, capital W. What is the pattern? What is the pattern? This is pattern. Okay. But in the trans method, the result was different. So, in the trans method, because the genes, capital genes are exchanged in a different chromosome, what is produced more is this is produced more and this is less. So the ratio is 1 is to 7 is to 7 is to 1. So here what is produced more? The recombinants, the new combination. The new combinations are produced more in the trans form and the parents are produced more in In cis form, understand? So in trans, because the capital genes are in a different place, when they join together, they produce more. See, um, uh, they are together, but uh, they, they exchange the uh, genes. 
So it's a new combination or more. This is a new combination. But what combination which we have taken is totally different because you see the parent. This is parent only we are seeing. This is the parent for us. This is parent for us. This is less. What is more? New combinations. This is the new combination. May I ask you, sir, how it is new combination? See, this is a parent. This is a parent. But this one, yellow, colored, red dye. Here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Brown color, white eye. This is new combination. So in the trans method, we got the new combinations more, and in cis method, we got parents more. Using these two, he called the terms, the trans method it is called the repulsion. Use the word. A repulsion. This one he used the word coupling. This is what Punnett has used. They call this as a repulsion, this as coupling. But Morgan said both are happening together. That is why it is called linkage. Both coupling factor and repulsion factor takes place together. So that is called linkage. Okay, we will see. The types of linkage. There are two types. Types of linkage. Two types. One complete. It is incomplete. There are few points that we have to see here and here. What is complete and what is incomplete? This is, you just remember the word, these two experiments in mind. Incomplete, the, both the dominant genes go together and produce more parents. What is produced more? Same in trans, what happened? New combinations are more. So here parents are more, there new combinations are more. Here what has not happened? No crossing over. What is crossing over? See capital A, capital B. Small a, small b. They are going like this. There is no crossing over. What is crossing over? When a particular gene is crossed like this. Capital B. Come here. This is called the crossing over. When the crossover takes place, that method is called the trans method. So what happens here? Crossing over takes place. That's an important point here. So here yeah, no more parents are produced, new combinations are produced. Here yeah, no crossing over and crossing over takes place. And crossing over is a natural phenomena. This is a natural phenomenon. But here what is less? Variations are less. Variations are very less. These are the three points you have to remember about complete linkage and incomplete linkage. What is a complete linkage? You can write. A complete linkage is a cis method where the parental characters are produced more and there is no crossing over, there is less, less variations. Whereas in the current incomplete uh, linkage, new combinations are produced more crossing over takes place and na natural it is very natural okay this is about the types of linkage now we are going to conclude this topic
with the four points. That's all. This topic is, is over. We call it as significance. Of significance of linkage. There are four points which we are going to be. What are what is the significance of linkage? What's the significance of linkage? Both coupling factor and the repulsion factor, both we have seen. So, what is the significance? So, parents are produced more. That is one factor. Then, then, in new combinations, Crossing over takes place. Crossing over takes place. Then what else we have seen? Variations. Variations are this. One I forget. Actually, the dominant genes. Genes. present in the same chromosome or linked. Why they are linked? Because they say, I will just explain, this is a new point to you, based on this there is a sum for you. Suppose when the A is here, B is here, the distance is more the linkage is, is less. The frequency of linkage is less. Suppose when A is here, B is here. Here linkage is more. So when the distance is more, linkage is less. When distance are less, linkage is more. Based on this, I'll tell you an, a sum to you, right? Uh, children, this is the neat sum which we are going to see now. See, they are given various genes present in a chromosome. And they have given the distance. between various genes, say for example A and H, the distance is 10 units, B and H, 8 units, A and G, 2 units, B and G, 18 units. Then they ask the arrangement of genes in a chromosome. First we have to draw a chromosome, a line, is a chromosome. And I will give you a clue, which is the longest gene, B and G, that means in a line, if you make B and you make the G also the longest gene. So I will take these two genes as the longest gene, 18 units. Clear? Now coming to B is here. Then B H is given. B H is 8. So suppose H I am making it here and this is. 8. Then AH is given. H is here, so there must be A. But the distance between A and G is 2. So that means it should it is very close. And this is long. And A and H is 10. So the, see the distance? This is 10. This is 8. This is Clear? Now we have fixed the distance. Now we have to see which arrangement is this genes are. 
बी एच ए जी बी ए जी एच नो ए बी जी एच नो बी एच नो बी बी एच ए जी सी दिस इज करेक्ट द सी इज करेक्ट द आंसर इज सी Answer is C. Clear? So they will give the genes, the distance between the various genes present in the same chromosome, and they want to ask you in which order the genes are arranged. Okay, this is one important sum. This is how they ask in the NEET examination. Okay, so one sum is ready. Now I'll give you another sum. This is also related with the neat sum two. This sum says the recombination. Suppose they give you offspring. They give offspring. The number of offspring. See one, two, three, four. Okay. So the exact offspring taken by the Morgan, I will take for you. That is one three three nine. This is an exact experiment. One one nine five, one five four, one five one. This is what Morgan, when he found out an experiment, he got uh, offsprings like this. And based on the offsprings, what is the question? Question is, what is the Recombinant frequency. When you see the frequency, say recombinant frequency. There is a formula. The recombinant by the total offspring. Total offsprings into hundred. This is the formula. You remember. Now we are going to apply. What is recombinant? Whatever is produced less here is recombinant. These two are recombinant. So R F is equal to one five four plus one five one by. You write the total. Total is one three three nine plus one five four plus one one nine five plus one five one into hundred. So you find out the ratio, and they must be given the answers like this: thirty-two percent, eighteen percent, twelve point five percent, ten point seven percent. This is what the sum you have to find out. So if you apply this, you will get the answer. I am not going to give you the answer. You find out the answer, then you can tick. Clear? It is nothing. Add this, add this, and divide and multiply into hundred. You will get this percentage. Any one of this percentage, that is the answer. Okay? Bye, children.